This two bedroom, 1500 square foot house is going for $565,000, about $10,000 over asking, and it's considered a good deal. You have a lot of qualified buyers really eager to find a home. It's a good time to be a realtor in Whatcom County. Jack Hovenier is one of them, and the market is on fire. It is another record. Yes, we've never seen anything like it here. Last July, 145 homes sold in Bellingham at an average price of about $560,000. This July, almost the same number of homes sold for the average price $731,000, an increase of more than $172,000, or 31%. Last July, Whatcom County as a whole sold 316 homes at an average price of $482,000. This July, a few more homes sold for an average of more than $600,000, an increase of nearly $121,000, or 25%. There's a lot of cash buyers and people moving up from uh, King and Snohomish to maybe a quieter community where they can work remotely. Those numbers are pricing first time home buyers out of the market. It's virtually impossible without some kind of help. Dean Fearing with the Culshin Community Land Trust is part of the solution. The trust buys land and creates permanent affordable housing for families. 50 townhomes being built here where the mortgages are based on income from $300 to $900 a month. Fearing calls those families the missing middle. So we're doing everything we can to ramp up our production. I want to get to a place where we're building 50 to 100 homes a year here in the next few years. Even those who stand to profit greatly from the boom are pushing for programs like this. Jack Hovenier lives in Whatcom County and worries for its future. I think it's a healthy community when school teachers, bus drivers, police officers can afford to live in the town they work in. Experts say the Western Washington housing market is expected to cool off over the next year, but to put that in some Northwest perspective, it's like going from 95 degrees to 85. In Bellingham, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.